And to know more about the current and future state of Tanzania relations with Indonesia and Southeast Asia, we have in our studio the United Republic of Tanzania Ministers of Foreign Affairs and East African Cooperation, Your Excellency January Yusuf Makamba. Welcome to the studio, Excellency. Thank you so much. Uh, pleasure is mine. I'm so happy to be here. It's a pleasure and an honor for, uh, for us here to yeah. welcome you and for you to fit us into your busy schedule. We have, you know, a lot of very interesting questions. I'm a big fan of Tanzania because of, you know, Kilimanjaro, yes. Serengeti. Serengeti. It's in, it's it in my is. bucket list. Bucket list 2024. Yes, yes, and I'm here. I've brought uh, some tickets and there's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. Amen. Pack yes. your luggage guy now. Uh, but you have to do a rough or a draw, so uh, yes. we'll see who gets to win. But uh, it's a beautiful country, just like Indonesia. And uh, we increasingly have a lot of visitors from India, from Indonesia coming to Tanzania. Yes, Sounds and cool. you know, um, speaking of, we've just mentioned that yep. uh, Tanzania and Indonesia have built quite a diplomatic relationship in the last year. Yes. Now, Tanzania and Indonesia have been fostering diplomatic relations since the Asia-Africa Conference, the legendary one in 1955. And uh, while further solidifying their ties through the non-aligned move in 1961. Mm -hmm. Over the years, of course, both nations have maintained warm bilateral relations, highlighted by last year's President Joko Widodo's visit to Tanzania in August 2023. Now, one thing I would love to ask is during the visit, Tanzania has expressed a keen interest in strengthening ties, yep. particularly through developing a diplomatic school curriculum. Yes. This is really interesting. Yeah. What kind of diplomatic school curriculum does Tanzania want to develop with Indonesia and what role does Indonesia play in this matter? Yeah. You see, uh, one of the key pillars of our relations uh, has been um, our collab collaborative effort, as you said, in non-aligned movement and international diplomacy. And we have seen uh, uh, how Indonesia's diplomacy has been successful over the past uh, 20 years. Uh, Indonesia is becoming influential in the global arena mm -hmm. and therefore something about Indonesia's diplomacy must be working <laughs> uh, and we have a, a diplomatic school in Tanzania mm -hmm. and uh, we operate in different region uh, and we believe that uh, if we work together uh, to exchange uh, techniques uh, to exchange knowledge to exchange uh, uh, certain uh, uh, ideas in a, a, a new strategy for diplomacy, we will all benefit. Mm. So uh, these two schools, uh, you know, uh, we've decided that they should work together. Uh, we'll exchange students, professors, uh, research, books, techniques and tricks uh, to um, uh, align our interest uh, in the diplomatic, in the global dipl diplomatic uh, uh, forums. That certainly is rare. Because it is. It's, it's rare for somebody to ask Indonesia. It's not just, you know, um, SOE to SOE collaborations yeah. or investments, but we want to have diplomatic relations yes. to yeah. develop a diplomatic curriculum. Yeah. Okay, Thank you for having. Mr. Makamba, just refreshing my memory back to August 22nd, 2023, yeah. Indonesia, um, President Joko Widodo visited uh, Tanzania. Let's talk about economy. As we know that both of countries will soon start negotiation on Provincial Trade Agreement, yep. PTA, and also the Bilateral Investment Treaty, or BIT, yeah. to enhance the collaboration between both of countries. I just yeah. really want to know how far the negotiation is and what so, is the next so, session? So, the, uh, this, as you know, these tools are very important, mm -hmm. uh, uh, both the PTA and the BIT. BIT. Uh, they provide confidence to investors to come into a country. Uh, and uh, we want to have both. Uh, as it is now, negotiations are ongoing. In terms of PTA, Tanzania is a member of the African community, uh, which is very advanced customs union and free trade area. Mm. Uh, therefore, uh, a bilateral agreement with Tanzania and other country have to be aligned with the protocol mm -hmm. on uh, uh, free trade East African community. So uh, we have to align that, and that's what's going on. But before getting there, we, uh, during this visit, uh, we should mention that I'm here mm -hmm. uh, ahead of the visit of our president, uh, mm -hmm. Samia Sulu Hassan, to Indonesia. We will uh, do a, a, a letter of intent uh, on investment promotion and facilitation. And also we'll do uh, a joint uh, ministerial declaration on trade and investment. So while negotiations are ongoing on BIT and PTA, 
we can still work together mm -hmm. through these other instruments to enhance trade and investment between our two countries. Oh, it's certainly interesting. I mean, Indonesia has, you know, expressed interest in investment as well. But we want to get to something really important. In the economic sector, we're mentioning bilateral cooperation between Indonesia and Tanzania. And we're looking at, historically, it's mostly in agricultural sectors, right? right? Without having to name every single commodity that we're uh, exporting and importing. Yeah. Um, we want to talk about the climate change issue currently. Yeah. And it's definitely going to affect the agriculture, uh, you know, agricultural yeah. sector. How are Tanzania and Indonesia, in terms of this particular uh, trade relationship, do, do, we, uh, do Tanzania and Indonesia um, plan to build economic resilience or diversify, for instance, yeah. because we know that climate change will affect food security in the future Pause. as well? Pause. No, this is a very important question. Mm. Uh, as you know, both our countries uh, have faced the tremendous impact of climate change, which has affected livelihoods, uh, both of farmers, uh, fishermen uh, and other sectors and uh, uh, both Tanzania and Indonesia are party to uh, COP uh, a mm -hmm. process yeah. uh, where negotiations on a joint global effort to tackle climate change mm -hmm. uh, are taking place. Uh, we are quite happy um, with Indonesia's role and voice uh, in that particular conversation and we have been seeing eye to eye uh, in terms of our common approach, especially on resources uh, for mitigation uh, of climate change and adaptation of mm -hmm. climate impact. And we are very happy with Indonesia's role in the creation of a loss and damage fund mm -hmm. uh, and in the capitalization of that fund, in the operationalization of that fund that will enable our two countries to benefit in terms of resources uh, that will help farmers and fishermen um, and cities such as Jakarta to build resilience, uh, build infrastructure uh, to tackle climate change. Mm. All right, um, Minister, just talk more about the economy. Yep. State-owned enterprises, oil company Pertamina, yep. also form a strategic cooperation in the energy sectors with Tanzania Petroleum yep. Development Corporation or TPDC in Tanzania's Nzanzi Bay. Yep. I just really want to know, is there any follow-up of the cooperation of the oil and gas fields for both parties? No, this is one uh, very important area. Uh, let me say that uh, I was here in February last year, mm -hmm. uh, as Minister for Energy. Uh, and ah. Yes, and <laughs> I was here for a conversation uh, uh, with my colleague, Minister for Energy here, but also with Patamena uh, and other companies such as uh, Medco, which also invests in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. Uh, now, we in Tanzania are inspired by the progress which Patamena made over the past. 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it started just like our own Tanzania Petroleum Corporation, uh, but managed to build the capacity to now play at the global level. Right. Uh, even to invest in Tanzania now. Uh, so uh, the collaboration between uh, uh, Tanzania and Indonesia in oil and gas is very critical. And we're very happy that uh, apart from an investment that Patamena is making in Tanzania, which it has been structured in a way that benefits Tanzania and Indonesia equally, right. mm -hmm. but also the capacity building cooperation between uh, uh, Patamena and TPDC, to such an extent that, uh, as you know, President Jokowi, when he was in Tanzania, they announced 100 scholarships for Tanzanian oil and gas uh, uh, technicians and students to come and study here. And as we speak, uh, five uh, have already here, Ah. Uh, and we expect uh, more to be coming as time goes. And I think this uh, uh, generosity to mm -hmm. share experience, to share knowledge right. uh, is critical. And uh, we are grateful for uh, the Indonesian government and Patamena for doing this. So guys, indeed, the South South Corporation has played a significant role in the cooperation between Tanzania and Indonesia. Absolutely. And we have, you know, we want to know more about this collaborative yes. sharing of yes. knowledge, but we want to take a short break, Minister, in just a moment. Yes. We'll be right back with you and we'll continue this dialogue after the break. Please stay with us for this exclusive interview with Minister General Yusuf Makamba on C Today.